Good morning guys. Welcome to another hike. Today we are going to be doing Mount Ontario. It is a 14er located in the Collegiate Peaks next to Buena Vista and Salida. We drove up here from Salida. We stayed in Salida last night and we drove here this morning. It took about maybe 40 minutes to get to the bottom trailhead but we actually drove up the 4x4 trail which by the way is no joke. Uh, we drove up about three miles to the turnoff for the main section of the trail and it's pretty rough. Um, we usually take our car, the Subaru Crosstrek on a lot of these trails and it does pretty well. I don't know, there are sections throughout the entire three miles that we went up that were pretty difficult. So if you're going to be doing this trail and you want to get up quite a ways, I'd say just make sure you have a high clearance car and really be confident in your 4x4 driving. But right now we have about 10 miles round trip from where our car is parked to the top of Mount Ontario and back. We've got about 3,400 feet of vert on this hike. So let's stop talking and start hiking. Made it to the top. Welcome to Mount Ontario. All right guys, we made it to the peak in a little over two hours and 45 minutes. We're actually both really surprised. There's literally no wind up here at all. And the whole way up here, we kept getting glimpses of kind of like some big gusts, but right now there's absolutely nothing. So this is awesome. Planning on just enjoying some views, maybe having a snack or two, get our dog some water, and then we'll be hiking back to the car.
All right, guys, we just got done doing the peak and we just scrambled down. So just an FYI, the last like 0.6 of a mile or half a mile is gonna be pretty good scrambles the whole way up. And it's kind of hard. It's actually very hard to route find. So if you have all trails, make sure you use it and stay on a lookout for pretty much any cairn that you find. There's only like two or three on the way up there. So we kind of scrambled up. Um, and then the peak itself is it so nice. I mean, there was no wind today at all, which was great. And then coming down though, we actually had a pretty tough time coming down. We, it was faster, but there was still a lot of loose rocks wherever we went. So even though we followed Cairns and followed the right path down, it was still pretty sketchy at times. So if you have a dog, just make sure that you take your time. Also, another thing to say is we didn't see anybody the whole time hiking, right? And then when we were coming down from the peak, there were two guys coming up and one was about 55, I'd say in age, and the other one was 83. And they, uh, they drove some four wheelers to the, the highest point you could get to before you actually climb the peak. But to be 83 and doing that peak is amazing. And he also said that he's done every single 14er in Colorado. So if I can be half that good when I'm 83, I'll be happy. But now we're gonna go down back to the car and uh, wrap this one up. guys we just got done up the hike and now we just got back to the car we kind of just unloaded everything plan going forward is probably try to get down this sketchy ass road again there's about i think about like two and a half miles three miles to the uh actual road itself so i think we should be fine getting down as long as we take our time i just want to thank you guys again for watching this video i hope to help out if any of you guys are planning to do this hike anytime soon uh it was really good a lot of fun the weather was amazing. We had really good conditions today, even though it was kind of smoky out. Um, still a bluebird day and like no wind up there, so it was awesome. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys again for watching and have a great rest of your day.